Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A World Betrayed DLC for Total War 3 Kingdoms as Yang Feng with the Make Me Unique mod and the Faction Unlocker mods enabled. So, as you can see, we have pretty effectively advanced up here. We have our boy here, uh, Zhang Ba, is besieging Zhongshan Regional City, which is uh, quite nice. He has uh, dealt Yuan and Yang a defeat before. Jiang Yong has pushed out of the area. So uh, Anping is where they are currently mustering their defensive forces. They have Zhang Fei in the area too. Now, Jiang Yong looks like he's legging it. Which doesn't bother me too much. He has probably the most effective army of the lot. Um, yeah, they, I mean they're not they're not wonderful. Um, this army is shocking, shocking, and this army is not much better. So although they have a relatively high level grand tutor, bloody hell, a relatively high level Zhang Fei, um, yeah, they're not in a great state now. Further down, we actually have more problems. So Xu Huang has been leading one of the finest defensive efforts. Um, army after army has come. He has used uh, night battles to break them up. Our man here, Tao Shang, as well from Xu Jiao, one of our vassals, has supported. And we have been highly successful. Highly successful. And, uh, okay, we need to replenish the troops. They've taken a battering. For sure. But my god, we have done well here. Um, we could do with building some stuff here. We have tons and tons and tons of money, so I may as well. Uh, why do you keep running away? I want to check. There we go. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we've, we've got silk. We may as well make the use, uh, make use out of it. So yeah, these guys, uh, Xu Huang has been doing magnificently. Now, over here, Tang Zhu was supported by Shen Yufu. Uh, we defeated the Yellow Turbans. We've retaken Lu Jiang. Tang Zhu is now going to head across the river. Um, and uh, take the fight to the Yellow Turbans across here. Can we do that just for a little bit of uh, speed? Uh, we are sending support here uh, with our man Shen Yufu to Xu Huang. But I have noticed this army is threatening us. So what we're actually going to do is shift way over here and invite them into a battle. If they don't want to fight us here, they can fall back and they can deal with Sun Tzu for all I care. I do not mind one bit. We just don't want them to cross and cause a threat to us. I don't have anything particularly against that uh, commander as well. He He's a longtime friend of mine. He just happens to be on the wrong side of this war. Now, over here, we've pacified the northwest. We've pacified the south pretty much. Uh, Liu Jiang has a surviving army here that we will deal with. Just very quickly delegate this. And unfortunately... Lubu, I don't think there's any feasible way to rush him over to the fighting very quickly. And I think there's mileage in ha, keeping him down here just to see if Liu Jiang still has more. And he does. So we're going to head Lubu down. Um, you guys, one turn, two turns. Alrighty. Uh, let's just throw that in there, get it, make sure it's all one turn, then after that we can just move at top speed. We're going to go down there and get rid of that spice market and take it from him. That should be quite nice, and then see if he has anything else down there that we can take. Um, yellow turbans are a little bit of a problem, but like I said, Tang is going to deal with them. Chen Yifu is going to deal with this here. Now, over here we do have stuff to do with Xu Huang. Xu Huang could start to finish off these armies, and I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go for Zhongrang Fang first. We'll pop in a night battle. Um, decisive victory, low casualties. Yeah, I'm not going to fight it. We should finish this. Yeah. Uh, Xinjie can go. Uh, Choriri can go. We will take replenishment, because we are low on... Uh... Lots, actually. Low on lots. Um, then, the question is... 
Can we finish off all three armies in one go? No, but we can split them. Right, let's go here. Okay, decisive victory. Just delegate that. I should wipe out two armies in one go. Uh, and we will again take replenishment. And then... Back into Guangling. Because our army is knackered now and we can defend from there. That leaves only one army left. It's a match gen as well, not that I need it. Um, pacifist. How does how the hell does he get pacifist from that? Um, right. He'll be able to be there, he'll replenish. Um uh, actually probably won't replenish, but next turn we're probably gonna see if we can chase this guy down here. Um, and destroy them, and then we're going to push on to the fishing port, I think, is our best option. He's fought magnificently there. Over here, we have Zhang Fei to deal with. Have Dong Chong definitely reach. Can you reach? Not quite, but we don't need to exhaust you. Go on, advance as close as you can. Oh, you can reach! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. I really want to fight with this army, so we're going to fight this. Let's get in there. Alrighty. So. I mean, this is going to be an absolute walk in the park. Uh, Jiang Fei could cause us some trouble. Uh, the archers will definitely cause us a little bit of trouble. Right, we're going to set up Turtle Formation, uh, my favourite. These guys, just generic light sword infantry. We'll set up here on the flanks. I am putting them all in formation because we're going to be advancing under fire. Uh, Yellow Sky Heralds can hold up a second. Now, one, two, three, four. These chaps... These chaps have good range. They also have good range. Right. We're going to have the Chen guards in the front. Shift you guys back a tiny bit. Because they'll be able to shoot. They're not the Chen guards. They're the... Yeah, they're the Chen royal guards. These are the Chen peacekeepers. Then my thugs are going to be behind these guys who are there for their protection they're going to be ready as a flanking force you chaps can be in the rear you are what are you unbreakable yeah yeah yeah, yeah. definitely in the rear now we have uh, tyrant slayers don't we I think we'll have separate cavalry wings we're going to have Liu Chong in the middle and uh, you can duel if you want. You are definitely dueling, big man. You are definitely dueling, big man. That looks pretty damn tasty. So let's advance. We're going to be advancing under fire. We're going to take damage. That's fine. I don't mind. I have extraordinarily heavily armored soldiers. Um, I don't think any of them are actually going to want to duel, to be honest. Out of range. Survive for what? Oh, come on, really against Dianwei? Really? Zhang Fei would beat Dianwei in a duel on this game. I've never had a chance to do it. Nah, Liu Chong, no way. I mean, you hit like a truck. But seriously? I've got to see this. Like, this is a hurt Zhang Fei as well. There is no way. No way, Dianwei. Should even be... This should not be close. Right. Thump his face off. Shit. He just... It's his weapon. It just hits so hard. Hmm. Right. Rock up here. Uh, you as well. Rock up here. Ready. 
Uh, show of force. Can we do it on them, please? Hmm. Perhaps not. Can we please show a force them? Right. There we are. We're up close. You guys, let's deal with their cavalry. You shift up. We don't want you in skirmish mode. We do want you up on support. Over on this flank, it looks like they're not doing anything useful. So we'll shift these boys out to this side here. All of you... Stay put. Come on, Yang Wei. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thump him in the face. Yes. There we go. You don't win that fight. You don't win that fight. Um, Liu Chong Lord Jun look like they're having the time of their lives. These G are advancing on the general guard. Oh, poor them. Right. Advance. You guys. Advance. You and you. Advance. Right. Fatal mistake. Go. No chasing. You guys. Have this. Take that off. Fatal mistake. Go. You. Ride. Up here. None of this. Tyrant Slayers. None of that. Get stuck in. Lord Jun, kill. Liu Chong. Uh, go kill. No defensive mode. Mm, you've got defensive mode on. We don't need that. Go on, wipe them out. Wipe them out. How are we doing? Are we smashing them to bits? We are smashing them to bits. Fantastic. You guys get stuck in on the Sabre Militia. You, Light Sword Infantry. Eh... Uh, Form up here, light sword infantry, chase. You chaps, you are slow. Everyone else is winning. Super easy. Go in there, not that the tyrant slayers need any help. Um, on your horse. Lord Jun, in. Down way. Uh, yeah, go chase. Rush. You don't need to be in that formation anymore. Go chase. I know they are cavalry. You won't catch, but it's fine. You guys go there. We're going to shift these guys onto the flank just so we can get rid of these guys more easily. Um, Tyrant Slayers. Who do you want to chase? Chase them. Right. You guys, rock up over this way when you're on that flank. Take you off that. Reinforcements have arrived here, which means we will actually <laughs> catch their cavalry. That's a shame for the cavalry. You guys get in there. Actually, you guys can deal with that cavalry pretty effectively. Lord Jones killing there. You're killing them. They're running away. They're running away. It's only him. Tian Chou. I would love to capture Tian Chou. Tian Chou was a great character from, from history. Um, not like super famous or anything. He doesn't deserve legendary status or anything else. Um, considering who hasn't got legendary status already, he should not be on that list. But he still is a great character. Set up his own little society up on the northeast border. Um, got on really, really well with the Wuhan tribes and the Xianbei tribes. A bit like Yang Rou as well, had a very good relationship with the tribes. Um, but uh, assisted to Cao Cao. Acted as a guide for Cao Cao as part of the uh, White Wolf Mountain campaign. Um, and his guidance was invaluable. Otherwise, Sasa would not have been able to outmaneuver the Wuhan tribes in the way he did. Incredible, intelligent individual. Hmm. Uh, we'll take the replenishment. Not that we need that much replenishment, but, you know, may as well. It's fun using these guys, I have to say. Let's get vengeance. So let's pop that in there, and we'll get scared in a bit. Um, we're not going to be able to chase them. You can, please. Boing. Captured. 
Nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll take the replenishment as well, just to make sure our troops are up and running. Book of Songs is authority. Okay. Well, if the Book of Songs is authority, I really don't have that many people to give that to. Uh, Liu Tong has... He's an administrator, so he probably needs that better. Did he do... You don't need this. There we go. I'll do the trick. Um, now, Zhongshan. Close defeat, eh? We'll continue the siege then. I, uh, I don't need to lose the men. Um, and I do want to swing my armies down as fast as possible. So we'll just keep besieging there. No problem at all. We can send Dongchang up to support, and we'll have Liu Chong deal with Amping. Um, actually, probably no. Dongchang is better to deal with Amping. So yes, artillery. What am I talking about? We'll have them both deal with Amping because they're going to be there. If Jian Yong wants to get involved, if Yuan An Yang wants to get involved, fine. We'll send one army then after Amping has fallen to help uh, Zhongshan. Or like, if one of my allies can sit close enough, we can use them as support. Uh, we'll finish that off, and we'll have the north. Then we need to swing south really quickly. They don't want Gongsunzan getting too powerful because he's one of those vassals that has a tendency to decide he doesn't want to be a vassal anymore. Now, this is going to a stage where it doesn't matter so much. Um, hmm. Uh, reduction in corruption is always very nice. Recruitment of shock cavalry. Upkeep. And it's income or spears, plus four satisfaction. We'll get plus four satisfaction. The Sanctuary of the Prince of Chen. All part of Liu Chong's uh, area. So, you know, it, 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 it suits, it fits, it fits. Right. Next turn. I will take it. I, your emperor, will act as your mercenary. Slightly odd. I do think that mercenary mechanic should be scrapped as soon as you declare yourself emperor. It, it just doesn't quite thematically fit. Uh, we should be using him, not the other way around. I feel. I, mean, I know you could technically say he will be paying you a tribute or I, I don't know. It's, it's just a little bit off. Doesn't quite work for me. Uh, now, Taoshang's army there is being gutsy if it thinks it's going to advance on their capital and do something useful. Ooh! That will be fun. Whew. Do I think I can win? I think I can win. I don't have the world's best commanders. They're not very good. Ev Jue Chuo, who is not great. I have two strategists. Uh, I. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. I think I can do this. Um, it's not the numbers that worry me. Uh, like the size of that reinforcing army from Yuan and Yang, they're just not very strong. No, my worry is their garrison units are quite good. Liu Tong, mate, when you left uh, your father's territory and struck out a life in your own, you really didn't get any spare clothes, did you? I mean, Zhang Bao, you're a bandit king, so I know whether you've got your thing going on, but. Liu Tong, buddy. Right, they're coming for us. Let's position on this nice little mound here. So, throw one of these here. Um, have you guys there? One, two, three, four. Uh, box. One, two, three, four. Shield walls in the front. Then crossbow on flank. Let's have a nice thin line of them. 
and then crossbow on the flank again a nice thin line uh drop you guys behind as their melee component if we need to get into a fight with them um, i don't think can we put you here can this hmm i don't want to get it wrong I was thinking, if I position this on the hill, it should be able to shoot over the top, right? It should be able to shoot over the top, but there's a tree there. That's what is getting to me about it. So, that being the case, we'll put it there. Let's have an ambush heavy machine gun. Uh, Tong, you're definitely staying here. Tsang Ba, we'll ride out with you a little bit. Now, we've got the Yellow Sky Heralds. They are unbreakable. Um, right, come here. We want one here, rear guard, and one here, rear guard. It, just in case we get flanked, they'll be able to deal with it because they, they just don't bat an eyelid. And then my cav is going to sit in here. Here too, hopefully. Oh, bollocks, there, they'll sit there. Right, now they'll sit in there, hopefully. Okay. You're way out of range. You can rock up here. You have a stifling effect. Magnificent. He's a fighting sentinel. We do not wish to fight him. Uh, Tenacity of Steel with a sentinel. Isn't great. Dungbark could probably take him, but we'd lose too much health. I'm not wholly interested in that. And the other guys I don't think will want to pick a fight with us. It's Jamajian Infantry. Warriors of Yeah. Such a strong garrison he has. Jam Infantry Captain. Jamajian. Alright. We'll just hang nearby then. We're not going to aim to attack. You can come back here. We'll speed things up. Take this off. Don't want to duel. You as well. We don't want to duel. Come on. Follow me. We. A human opponent wouldn't do this. But the AI will. This unit could take him down, okay? they lose a lot, but he would be so badly hurt afterwards that he just wouldn't be able to cope. However, what they're doing is they're now sacrificing one of their top tier units. To my artillery. And remember, these guys have no shields as well. So, you know... Come on. Oh, look at that. How many have they lost? 181. That was a pretty... That's a hit. 161. I mean, they're, they're heavily armoured, these Warriors of Yeah. I think these Warriors of Yeah are based on... I could be wrong about this, so please cor correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they're actually based on... Um, Zhang He's, Zhang He had a unit of, uh, of, of of G infantry with like a longer than average G. Um, now, they were pretty heavily armored guys as well. Now, longer than average G would mean that um, they'd be almost like spear troops in the way they were used in many ways. So, get him. Um, and I think, like, the Warriors, yeah, are based on, are based on them. Right. Come on, Zangba. Bring them back with you. Bring them back. Let's see if these fools really want to follow. Their Lance Cav, their proper, proper cavalry. Bash! Alright. You shift up. We're going to get a flank on with the axes. Need to watch the range. Oh, we've got we got a lot to play with. Charge. 
finish them off. Uh, song. Ah, yeah, keep shifting back. They'll come for us, don't worry. Song, if you want to shift forward a bit. Womp. Look at that. Brilliant. Axes, let's go down here. Let's, uh, let's deal with them. Gen Sword Guard, just chop them to pieces. Cut them to pieces. 83, 62. Yeah, the Virtuous Noblemen are a lot. Good. Nicely done. Back to the forest. Lil Tong, off you go. Go kill. You're super quick. Now our axes should just rip them to shreds. Uh, not appreciating you guys doing that. If you don't mind, I would rather you turned your attention in that direction. Just reform a little bit. Um, so we'll break these guys, then I'm going to detach my virtuous nobleman. And we're going to get back into this forest with them. Liu Tong can chase for a little bit. He enjoys that type of thing. Are they seriously gonna... Right, talk about... Rock forward. Let's see if we can draw some more out. Yeah, it looks like it's sticking together a little bit better now, though. None of them want a duel. I'm surprised he doesn't want a duel. Alright, swing round. Had enough of them. Go here. To Jamajin infantry, uh, that literally means like chop the horse's head off infantry, like cut horses infantry or something like that. I'm not overly worried about them with my cavalry. Yeah, if they get in, in amongst you, they do they do wreck you, but they just don't get in amongst you that way. Um, uh, what I would like. Rip into them. Just rip into them. And then if we can do this, like, use up all of our ammunition. Ah, uh, you bastards. Come on. Get into position. If we can just do it, like, use up all the ammunition, then we don't need to keep holding that position anymore. I can move the cavalry in more free... Way. Oh, that's a decent hit. Right. Nicely done. Back you come. Come on, how many shots you got left? Not many. Doing well, though. Get me some through them, though. How many shots you got? Two shots left. Give me two rounds on these guys then. Just two. And we will be good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was a hell of a hit. Look how many died from that. Come on, one... Oh, that's less good. Still, you know, fair play. You guys done your bit. Shift over here. Don't mind if they uh, start playing with wood, but I do mind if they try and take out the men. Right, we're going to shift the cavalry over to the other flank now. We don't need to guard that position. You guys fall back to the lines. Let's encourage them onto the lines and we'll finish them here. There we go. Nice. Right, we don't need you on this side. We do need you on this side. that's where they're stacking numbers now you might ask why don't I turn to face you'll see a lot of youtubers turning to face uh, the enemy like this it's simple right I might be worried about the range because these guys are gonna take a little bit longer to attack but actually the AI will either try and hit one position here which allows me to wrap all of these guys around their flank on this side or they will sort themselves out and attack me flat on anyway um, I don't need to alter. All I need to do is make sure I have enough troops on this side. If they do throw everything, 
just to deal with it here so this side doesn't collapse whilst my other side wraps around. Uh, there's no... It, truly, there's no major benefit in going like a flat force against a flat force. You actually want to see if you can stack a side or like suck the enemy into one side so that you can wheel them, you know, put, so that you control the shape of the battlefield. And flat to flat makes it a 50-50 tug of war. Whilst if it's like this, okay, they're going to hit this side, so these guys are going to get a bit of damage. But these guys can go around to extend in case they try and extend my line out here. And these guys can just come around their flank and attack them because they don't have the ability to get around. Now, if they have a really thin line and they want to envelop this whole position, that's fine. This cavalry unit here will just charge them in the rear because they don't have any cavalry that can deal with me. Like this cavalry here is not going to be enough to deal with my cavalry. This cavalry here is not going to slow up all four of my units. They'll slow up one and maybe two. And if they want to advance with this section to deal with my cavalry, they're going to die. You know, it, it really is that simple. All right, reform up on this hill. You chaps can come over here. Because we might need to gang up on this guy. Does look like he's going to split his force. Why you would send this against four groups of cavalry and think you're defending yourself, I wouldn't know. No, he's not. He's rethinking his idea. Clever. Hmm. Come on, let's just move a little bit faster here. I want him over here. Right, get ready, guys. Come on, keep coming over here. So we're trying to sucker this unit across, this small group here. Um, because this has the general that I'm most worried about. And if we can pin him over here, we'll finish him off really effectively. Not actually quickly, but we will get rid of him. Alright, let's deal with this. Let's deal with these guys. You chase them. I want you in here. I want you in here. Do you know what? We're not going to need you. Shift over here. Just shift over here. Alright, Zhang Bai is in. I'm going to pop this. Get some heal on in this area. My archers are going to get rid of this cavalry pretty quickly. Um, that means we don't need you to do that either. You guys can sit over here too. This has become a slaughter. Right, you two. Focus on him. Um, Alright, they've all broken. Don't need you in this charge formation anymore. You guys chase them. Yeah, very nice. One, two, kill. Right. They've left a massive gap, gaping hole in their formation that we are going to go for. So off we rush. Their spears are chasing them. He's being hunted down. Our formation here. Okay, like I said, trying to envelop. But we have some unbreakable units over here. So we're not overly worried. Charge. Get into them. These guys, if I've been paying more attention, I would put them in square formation, but eh. Don't matter too greatly. Right, boys, over here. Yu Chong, you chase. And while you hold him here, they're dead. Let's go. Let's go. All the way over here, please. Right. We lost some crossbows. That's fine. These crossbows are good. They can shift onto this flank. If these crossbows come back, we'll deal with them. There's still a hundred of them, so there's a good chance they might come back. That cavalry shifts into position. This cavalry could do with coming in right here. You guys, Virtuous Nobleman, if you don't mind, turn around. We don't want you in that fight. Zang Ba is up against the Jennifer Tree Captain. We'll finish him off with Liu Tong alone. I want you here. Um, and you guys have come back too. Good. I want you there. 
Right, these guys will break because it doesn't matter how good they are, these ones will not leave. And I have enough in numbers in that area to show that uh, we're staying for the fight. You guys push on. Seriously, disengage. Disengage. Come on. Hatch come. We're going to deal with the Sabre Infantry. You need another one. Liu Tong, you have done your job. Spectacular. All right, rush over here then, please. You're killing. Right. Charge. And charge. See if we can break some of these guys now. That's a poor charge they've got. I should have formed them up first. Still, they will do damage because they're still decently heavy cavalry. Well, medium cavalry. Alright, how'd you come? They've broken. They've got them. You guys get into that flank there. Archers shoot them. Uh, you guys shoot them. You. Yeah, you're still chasing. Good. They've broken. They've broken. Excellent. Right, chase them till they die. You guys fall out of that fight. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's much more we could do there. That that's a definite victory for us. You guys swing into them. You're chasing them. You guys can come back and chase them. You can chase them. That just leaves the Damagena over here. Very nice. So let's send some proper troops around. Uh, guys, go. Nobody else has guard mode on, do they? You do. Bloody hell. Uh, kill them. Right. Liu Song over here. <laughs> yeah, we got him. We got him. They shattered. They shattered. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty convincing victory. Close victory, maybe, but pretty convincing. Yeah, we lost a handful, but we really knackered his garrison look at the numbers he lost so many men and importantly he lost the archers because they're the guys that will defend the walls we lost 500 men uh we're gonna take replenishment because we're gonna have to fight again his uh, captain units were kept alive which is important exactly yeah that's fine i don't care fall back to donghai so Xu Huang's going to have a real bitch fighting that out. Probably going to have to wait for Shen Fu, actually. Okay. Fulfilling the contract. Defeat one army or garrison for the following. Action destroyed. Liu Zhang. Mission aborted. Who killed him off? Want me? Has gained Liu Tong. Excellent. Um, yeah, mighty knockback. You got some decent cavalry in your force. And somebody else as well. Uh, Liu Yi. Very good. Finally, you can become useful. Nothing there for you. Uh, yeah, you can have a devious ascendant. There you go. Fantastic. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave it there for now. In the next episode, um, we've got Tangju. He's going to be pushing into Yellow Turban territory. Uh, we need to make a decision with Sanyu Fu whether or not we take out Xue Li's uh, army here or whether we leave it to Xu Zhao. That could be a little bit 50-50 for my liking. Our lad here, uh, definitely replenish before he advances. Up here, we need to take out Amping and we need to take out Zhongshan. Um, and uh, down here... Ha! She took it. Okay, fair enough. Well, next time... 
more destroying of Liu Bei. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.